Some people say to me, Aaron, if there's no crude oil, then where do, where does plastic come from? Because they're brought into this idea that plastic is produced from crude oil, which it never has been because crude oil, just like the dinosaurs it comes from, never existed. So it's a fair enough question, where does the plastic come from? Well, if you just think about how much of it there is, then it's just pretty obvious if you just think about it <clears throat> from scratch that it must come from a source which is pretty much limitless. And um, so they make it out of plants. So it's just made from plants, quite simply. So here's a little documentary pretending that making plastic from corn is somehow a wonderful new invention and not the norm. Plastic is everywhere. People do not realize that we are living in a plastic society where everything is done from plastic. From the fabrics of our clothing, to our glasses, to our watches, to the cars that we're driving. Most plastic today is oil-based. Not only does it use 10% of our oil supply, it increases global warming and can take more than 1,000 years to degrade. Plastics are everywhere. They're in landfills, they're in the ocean, they're floating around. But corn can change all that. Plastic made from corn is different. It's biodegradable, carbon neutral, renewable, and even edible. You're growing molecules out there, and we can arrange those molecules to be food or the plastic bag that the food comes in. At a time where we're starting to talk about, very seriously, about global warming, greenhouse gases, I believe that bioplastic are the great answer to the questions that we currently have. But how do you turn a kernel of corn into a clear sheet of plastic wrap? You've got to get down to the starch. What we want to do in wet corn milling is take these kernels apart into their components. Starch, protein, fiber. Steeping kernels in sulfur dioxide and water at more than 100 degrees loosens bonds within the kernel. After two days, the kernels are ready to be ground. If we do it just right, the germ will pop out and will start to float. And it floats because it has vegetable oil in it. Next, the mixture is centrifuged to pull the corn oil away from the starch. What's left is almost pure starch. The long chains of carbon molecules in the cornstarch are remarkably similar to the chains of carbon in oil-based plastics. Turning them into a plastic just takes a few secret ingredients, some citric acids, and some mixing. And bingo! You've got a long chain polymer, the building block for plastic. Six weeks ago, this was corn on a cob. All of a sudden, it's a plastic. Now these pellets of corn polymer can be melted and formed into all kinds of biodegradable plastic products. What used to be a corn grain is now a fork. And that's pretty incredible. So there's no plastic pollution, no non-biodegradable plastics. It's all just made from plants. And we've all just been played for twats by the same hoaxy band of twats that give us all our other headaches.